takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Sweet cherry. <laughs> Put it on top of my water bottle, just for, like yeah. Yeah, okay, I know, I don't think I want to put it. Coming forth to carry you home. I know you wouldn't know that song. Act up, you can get snatched up. Act up, you can get snatched up. college sports. There's light at the end of the tunnel. A return to normal and all we love about sports. You've instilled resilience, focus, and selflessness in us. We've put those lessons to work. We've found strength and unity in each other. You continue to take us places we never imagined. You bring out the best in us. So when we look forward, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. We see a better world for all of us. And, and for college, college sports. sports. Two of the 2021 NCAA Division II Volleyball National Championships. Um, joined by the advancing team at Western Washington University. Coach Diane Flick Williams, you want to start things with um, some comments on the match? Yeah, what a great se season that Damon has had. So I want to really recognize them and, and congratulate them on you know, getting to the Elite Eight. Um, you know, it's hard for all of us, so obviously they should have uh, due credit where credit's due. Um, Man, I'm really proud of our team. I, it, you never know what's going to come out when you start a, a national tournament. And um, thought we didn't play as jittery as we have had in the past. So I'm really glad that we came out pretty steady. Um, we did hit um, 435 for the match, which is a pretty incredible number. I thought we just controlled the ball well. Our serve receipt, for the most part, was good to get us up and running. And then our setter, uh, Malia Aliaga, you know, she did distribute the ball really, really well. And, um, so I'm just really glad how we started. I still think we have another notch we're going to need for tomorrow night. So uh, we'll have to get back and put our hard hats on and get ready for business. Okay. Also joined by student athletes Gabby Gunterman and Callie Halborn. Uh, we want to open it up for com questions. Congratulations, by the way, um, for tomorrow. For the game, will you, you will be competing in tomorrow. How will you prepare? We're going to have to watch some film on Washburn, even though we watched them today. Uh, and we're going to have to make sure that we don't bring a pocket knife to a gunfight because those guys can swing, and they're a pretty physical team. So um, we're going to have to really work on what our eyes need to see um, and what we need, how we need to respond. Um, but for now, I'm going to give it a little bit of time. We'll celebrate this. And then, uh, like I said before, we're just going to get back to work. Congratulations again on the win. And um, apart from the win today, is there anything that you think the team might have to tighten up on in order to get to the next round? I almost like cut you off in the middle of your question. <laughs> Serves, because um, we did not serve very well today. Uh, and I think that's in part just, you know, we didn't take enough time at the first practice, I think, to get the confines of the gym. Maybe a little bit of adrenaline going too, but we definitely are going to have to serve um, – not necessarily tougher it needs to be smarter um, and so I think that's one of the focuses we will have uh, during our practice but um, yeah I think we did a pretty good job with our block tonight or today Thought we got some hands on some good balls our defense did a pretty good job so if there was one thing that um, you know was a slow paper cut to death for me today was serving okay so um, congratulations again for the win and congratulations to you too for being recognized as All-Americans so more of a personal question, what does it feel to be recognized with such award? Oh, I mean, it's, um, I mean, it's not something that happens every single year, and it's definitely really exciting, and it's, 
Yeah, it's it's just a good feeling. Definitely really exciting. But I mean, I feel like we're still here, so it still feels like there's a lot of work left to do, and not that we don't want to recognize it, but um, yeah, it feels really good. <laughs> I just feel like when anyone gets an award like that, everyone on their team is an All-American as well. We can't do it without pass it, passers. We can't do it without our setter. We can't do it without middle blockers pulling blocks. It's just a whole team effort, and everyone should be recognized as an All-American, I think. Congratulations, guys. Um, you guys jumped out in the first set and won 12 to 25. Would you guys say that that excitement carried you guys through the rest of the game? Um, I think we started off really hot, and I thought that was great because um, that meant we were kind of uh, in control of our game, which was my biggest concern. Um, there is a concept called competitive loafing, though, that teams that win by more than 10 points in the first set have a tendency to make it really close in the second game or lose. So that's always a concern of mine. Um, and we kind of started off that way, but I thought we did a good job settling in by the middle of the game um, and then kind of took a, like a little bit of a jump, a separation point, um, like in the early 20s. Uh, so that was really huge for us. So I think that momentum was a little bit bigger for us than the first game just because we took a hard shot from them uh, and we were able to recover from it. The student athletes, your coach is almost a, a regular to these national championships. Does that calm your nerves when you come out in this type of setting? Oh, I mean, yeah, she's a genius. <laughs> I mean, she... I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it, truly. Um, she sees the game really smart, and we know that when she's got something to say, it's going to be really important, and we need to take that and do something with it. So, yeah. Just knowing that she's been here before, she kind of knows the logistics behind it, what we're going to do, and keeps definitely all of us like calm, especially when we're unsure of what's going to happen, just keeping us calm. What was your message to your teammates after the first set? I mean, we, we wanted to, we always talk about staying patient. We always talk about staying present. Um, being simple because I think where we start to falter is we start to overplay so we want to out jump we want to out swing you know harder down uh, all that kind of thing where, where you start doing way too much and so for us I think we wanted to keep simple we wanted to stay our truest of game we didn't want to you know change because they were doing something um, so I think that was our, our biggest thing. From a coaching standpoint what are you most excited about for the girls moving forward? I think that you get another day to play, another day to be together, another day to just compete and um, grow as a group. Uh, one of the best things I think we have right now is we, we really aren't losing anybody for next year. So um, this is still part of our, we kind of talked about it as a two-year plan, and this is in the middle of it the first year. Um, and so we're looking to grow and get better and to, to continue to learn about what we need to do to get better as a team. So that's what I'm excited about. I love the, the whole process of learning. And I love watching these guys learn, too. Uh, during the end of the third set, uh, Damon started to pull close toward the end of it. During that uh, final timeout before the match ended, what were some adjustments you guys made in order to close out the match? Well, I mean, once again, we were probably doing too much. And we need to be simple <laughs> and stick to trusting our training instead of trying to manipulate it or, once again, do too much, like playing our zones, not reaching into a teammate zone. We need to be all, you know, kind of working as one unit for it all go the way we want it to, so that was definitely big for us, is to just trust our training, simplify things, and you know, keep the momentum rolling. We get a little impatient in those situations where we feel like we have to hurry up and finish a game, um, and not really trusting the fact that what got us there and, and the points that we made and how we did it was just fine. Those will get us more points too, but when we try to be so fine with shots because we're going to hurry this up, it's not our game. Were you guys off at all playing a team that, from the other side of the country, probably very few common opponents, and very some new team almost? I think they're they're pretty. We kind of talked about them being similar to some of the ones in our conference themselves, the style of play that they had. Um, and once we were able to kind of relate it to a team that we played, it, it it you know it kind of got a little more simple in our minds that we didn't have to you know change a system or it was something foreign to us. So we, it was, we were able to make it relatable, um, and ultimately the game is past that hit, so if we can just keep ourselves in that zone, uh, I think we do okay. Any questions? Yep. Last question. Regardless of the outcome of this tournament, is it too early to say we will be seeing this team again in next year's tournament? 
about locker room words. You're, you're stirring the pot, aren't you? Uh, that was our two-year plan and our goal. Uh, I think that's everybody's plan. So we'll try to stay the course and, and do that. I mean, we have some tools, uh, but we got to just keep ourselves getting better every day. That's our that's our focus. And then we'll see when we pick our heads up. We'll see where we're at. Good try, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and good luck. Thank you very much. I pledge. I am an NCAA student athlete. And I pledge to be a champion of unity on my team, on my campus, and in my community. I pledge to embrace differences and strive for inclusion and collaboration. I pledge to stand against racism, hate, and discrimination. I pledge to strive for love, care, and forgiveness. I pledge to stand against silence, deceit, and obscurity. I pledge to strive for dialogue, truth, and understanding. I pledge to stand against fear and doubt. I pledge to strive for trust and belief in one another. I pledge to stand against complacency and stagnancy. I pledge to strive for change and growth. I commit to supporting my fellow student athletes in all circumstances that impact them. I commit to both choosing unity personally and encouraging it for all. I pledge these things because we are stronger together. United, United as, as one. one. Student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. <laughs> champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division 2, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. We're joined by Damon College following match two of the 2021 NCAA Division II Volleyball National Championships. Uh, we'll get some comments from Coach Stephanie Albano. Uh, but it's off. I just want to start off saying that how proud I am of my team and of Caitlin Meyer. She came in for a year, uh, trusted in Damon and myself and the team, and helped us get to this point. I have Sam Logan next to me, who's a fourth year senior who has grown tremendously, tremendously. And Western Washington's a really good team. They don't make errors. And we just, we're not used to seeing that level of play. I did, however, think we did a really good job. And, and we came out fighting in the third set. Like, we, we never just let them have it. So I'm proud of our efforts. We also have student athletes Sam Logan and Caitlin Meyer. We'll open it up for questions. So first of all, congratulations on your season. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, the student athletes, what do you take out of this experience, not as a player, but as a person? Um, as a person, and both as a player, I guess, 
it's just like an amazing experience to even get here like representing our small school like that's a huge thing like a lot of people like oh like Damon like they like we talked about this several times like they can't even pronounce their name right they can't even spell it so like to come represent that like that feels good like even though we came off as a loss like it feels good to be here yeah and we showed all season that we deserve to be here and I think that our team like we have our best friends on the team and that's something that we're going to take from this season and we got to experience this with our best friends and this that's something we'll remember for the rest of our lives what do you think this does for the program moving forward just making this huge step to the, the next level where you're one of the best eight teams in the country. I think it sets the standard for the future. We know we can make it here, and I mean, my career is over now, but like next year, this is going to be the expectation. We know we can win the East region. We know we can make it here, and I think next year the expectation will be go even further. Yeah, I feel like going off of that, like we have a lot of our returning players, so the expectation is going to be we're coming back and like we're going to be battle even harder. And I think from, like, even as a coaching, like, then, like, recruits are going to be, like, dang, like, they got in there, like, Damon's a small school, like, hey, I want to go there. Hard-fought game. What are you guys as teammates most proud of today for the rest of the team? I thought, even though it didn't go as planned, like, I was proud that we all stayed together, like, and I think that shows, like, what kind of team we are, and like we said earlier, like, how close we are and like those are our true friends on the court so like I was proud that we were here and we stayed together no matter what the outcome was today. Yeah I thought we had a lot of fight today. We did, it didn't go our way but we left it all on the court so I'm really proud of our team. Um, Caitlin this one is for you. Uh, you say your career was over so what is one message you want to leave to the underclassmen or the people that is coming back next year? Um, really just and play it like play like it's your last game every game. Um, and like everyone has something to be proud of this season and for next season you should just build on what we learned this year and really just have fun playing next to your best friends because it will be over someday and it's it's an amazing experience and one that you can be proud of for the rest of your life. So just have fun and be positive the whole time you're playing in college volleyball. Um, <clears throat> Steph, you came to our program seven years ago. And uh, as an associate head coach for a year, and then you took over, and we got oh so close that first year uh, to getting here. You know, was this moment today everything you thought it would be, even though the result wasn't uh, what we expected or what we wanted? Yeah, absolutely. I I thought that you know the first set for us we were a little jittery. The moment was really big, um, and then we composed ourselves in sets two and three, and we competed. Um, we competed with that team, and we played hard, and they're a really good team. And I'm really proud of our team for fighting and for representing the East region. And I was joking around, like, we forced them to call a timeout. Like, I'm pretty sure that probably hasn't happened with an East region opponent. Um, so I'm really proud that we put enough stress on them where they were concerned for a minute to call a timeout. And Caitlin, you, you referenced going through this experience with your best friends. You've really only, you know, known a lot of the girls on the team for the last – couple of, of months you just talk about the experience um, that you've had uh, becoming a part of this program yeah so I've only been here for what five months and everyone was just so super welcoming when I got here um, some of the upperclassmen they just take actually everyone on the team they kind of just taken me in and hey if you need somewhere to stay because I don't live on campus you know come to my house come to lunch with us it's just been an awesome experience and they've taken me in with wide open arms and I'm just really glad that I've had the chance to play with these girls, even though it was for such a short period of time. So what are some of the things you guys think that you can improve on to get you guys back here next year? I think, like, now that it was our first experience, yeah, it was a little nerve-wracking. And I think, like, coming back, we'll be a little more settled in, like, I think this might have been, like, the biggest environment, like, we've played in. So, like, it was a little much at first. But I think now, like, we have a feel for it and know, like, we can come back here and, like, hey, like, we competed even though it didn't go. So I think we'll be more settled in next time. Um, Steph, I want to give you a chance to uh, shout out Team Impact for um, 
excuse me, for sending Ava here. Yeah, that was amazing. And when the match ended and I turned and I saw Ava in the stands and she was crying because uh, she's so emotionally attached to, like, our team. I ran up there and, like, grabbed her to come down for us. And it was really cool to have her here. And it's great for our team uh, because she's helped them probably more than we've helped her, like, her presence um, and us being so grateful for what we have. Um, and to have her part of our team has been amazing. It was amazing that she, she was here with us to experience it. Uh, Coach, you mentioned your team um, got through some jitters in the beginning of the game. Um, moving forward for next season and beyond, how much more of it is, a, is this is an expectation to be back here and to move forward and build on this rather than to just be here and enjoy the moment? Yeah. Sometimes I struggle with expectations because I don't want there to be pressure on it, right? Like I just want us to focus on what we can get better at, and there's a number of things that we can improve on um, to be better in this moment. But the expectation level really is for each individual person to continue to grow and develop and get better, and then we'll see what happens from there. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on an excellent season. Thank you. Thank you.